All right, I think it is time to start placing those buildings in. And for this particular thing, uh, I think I'm gonna use these, um, I think I'm gonna use these French uh, Parisian buildings, uh, what they're called. I think I'm gonna use that for like the uh, student residences. Uh, they look kind of swanky. Um, look like, you know, uh, what you'd see at a college campus as far as the student life living goes, I think. And I think that they will look pretty good because they're not too tall, but you do get a lot of population boost out of them. You get more population boost out of the uh, Parisian and um, uh, the London buildings and, and the... Uh, uh, Tokyo buildings, you get more population, uh, a higher maximum, if that makes sense. You get a higher maximum than just regular old residential buildings. So not only does it look good, but I think it also has its benefits. I'm running about 75 uh, total buildings now, and I got 30 of those that are epic, as you can see. Uh, we got a plan for those. Uh, if you saw my layout before, these used to be part of my uh, my casino, uh, my casino uh, city. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go search on YouTube, you can find a, a video. Uh, if you go to my channel, actually, you could find a video where I was showcasing my casino city, and I think it was pretty good. It served its purpose, but. Uh, you gotta always be changing things around. I mean, the Sims want it. They don't want to just live in the same old, same old, you know? So, that's what we're doing here. And, do you guys agree with me that these buildings do kind of fall nicely in my college campus? Um, now the thing is, uh, to try to match them up closely, close enough, because you got all different orientations working here. So I think that this actually, that first little section there uh, works out pretty nicely, to be honest with you, I think. So we're gonna leave that like that. All right, and coming up next, um, whoa, hmm. that's a nice little area there. It's just a shame that it's kind of being blocked up by this athletic field. Where can I move this so that people can see here? Uh, how, how is it that they aren't turning the same direction? I want it face, I want, I want that courtyard there facing inwards of the campus. Uh, where can I move it so that, um, so that the athletic feel is like sitting right in the way. I don't want that to be lost on, on the athletic feel. So one of two things is gonna happen here, folks. We're either gonna move the athletic field now or we're going to find another place to put these two buildings. So let's try that first. Um, I think that we should delete this road. Uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose. Um, and when you think of a college campus, a lot of the roads are like not connected to the outside city. So I got that loop there going around the campus, but I think having that little road to come in and connect everything is a mistake. Um, all right. Now, let's see what we can do here. I can move this a little closer. Let's just see how that looks. I think that we have decided to move the athletic building and for some reason, 
When I try to move those two Parison buildings I was trying to showcase, they don't orientate the right way other than that position right there that they're at. So I think that those buildings are gonna stay in our, our trusty old university uh, athletic field is going to move. Now where can I move it? Should I put it here? I mean, I kind of wanted that area there for the beach. So maybe I can put it over here. So what does that do? Well, I don't think that looks bad. You still got, still got the road structure pretty much the same. And actually, um, it's enough room for me to put Uh, so here All right, let's go ahead and move some more buildings in here to see where we can get the population at Hmm Let's, let's move these buildings over here. Uh, you know, I really like these buildings. These are uh, the luxurious um, residential buildings here. Um, it, this is at, well, I, don't, I, I really don't know what level, like how many upgrades you had to get to get, to, get to this point. But um, I think from this point, you'll have like two more upgrades to go before you get the skyscrapers. So I really like this size here because it kind of reminds me of like a, you know, maybe this is like the off-campus life, you know, where, where you're in grad school maybe and you're making a little money there. Uh, and so you've got it looking a little more chic over there with your, with your buildings. So we're going to go ahead and just drop these here. Eight of them are going to fill up this area. And I'm kind of meticulous about where I put buildings. Um, even if I just throw them all in a space, I usually come back and kind of arrange them a certain way. Like, I don't want all of the same building on one row. I usually kind of break it up or something. And even right here, I might add um, some multi-level it's got to be like a multi-level area so I'm gonna end up upgrading some of these buildings now um what next so there's that and let's put Back, back to this campus here. Let's put a pond behind here. We got to do something with this free space. I don't want to just hang it out there. Anything that we can put in to boost the population, we want to go ahead and establish. All right, so there's our campus. I think it looks pretty good. I wonder about turning the orientation here. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. At least so everything's not just facing one direction. Kind of adds a little more balance to the city, I think. Uh, or to this university, small college town. Okay, so looks like we've got our, our university buildings that we want to use. Now we got to fill up the campus with more residential buildings. I think we've got enough boosters up there. And I really think this is gonna look really nice. So let's keep things moving here and we're gonna grab these uh, London buildings. The London buildings actually look like, from what I'm familiar with, they actually look like academic buildings. Um, you know, different halls and stuff like that that you had at a, at a college campus. So I'm going to repurpose these and they're going to serve as, uh, they're gonna serve as academic buildings. 
and they're kind of mix matched here but if I I'll do the best I can with trying to make them look uniform all right I don't know if you guys heard that talking if you're wondering what it is uh, uh, they're they're still building up the neighborhood that I currently lived in so uh, to the left of us there's a house still being constructed also behind us so those are the workers coming in they're like right next door to the to the uh, studio office that I'm in right now so if you heard that I don't know if the mic picked it up or not but uh, there were some guys uh, one guy giving another guy instructions on how to do something whatever they're doing out there Okay, um, I think that looks pretty good to me. I think this is something unique that you can do with these, uh, with these uh, Parisian and uh, London buildings, is you can repurpose them. And so, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You could it's getting a little darker here and uh so we can really see the city come alive now. Lordship. You know, uh I did say that I wanted to add some water here. Let's go ahead and and do that. How much water are we gonna add? I think we'll make a like a lake sort of thing. We'll have this pond kind of come in and fill up this one by one area here. And then, let's see, how much water do we want? We could go all out and make a little kind of canal running along the backside there. Let's see how that looks. Hmm, that's something something needs to change there. Simto. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just keep stacking here. I think I'm going to have to end up maybe inserting a pond there to make to make the lakes like uniform together. Mm. I'm eating an apple, guys. Hmm. Now. Let's add some of these university bridges. Um, you know what, actually. Uh, since that's the art studio there, let's go with the arts bridge. I think that would be a good application for that. So we'll put those ponds right there. Now, it looks more uniform. And that makes sense. The ponds are for whenever you got a road kind of separating things and you want to stay, um, kind of helps to balance because they're the same length of a road. All right, so, well, I think we've established that we're going to go ahead and bring this lake through the backside of this university campus here. Uh, 
I think that I'm trying to figure out about some of these blank spots here that you see like over there. And what are we gonna do with those two Parisian buildings that we wanted to keep together? You know, I think, let's see if this, if this works with the orientation. Uh, it looks, oh, it works. Okay, so I think that's cool. We'll have that going that way. And then we'll put this other building. Um, well, we got water going there, so need to figure out a home for there, for that, that London building there. What slots do we have open? We have over there by the uh, library, there's a slot. Um, if I put it right here. I mean, it doesn't really go with those buildings, but I don't think the Sims are gonna care at this point. They're like, just get us another building and, and bring that lake on through here, Smith. So let's bring that lake on through here. It is adding uh, some population boost to it. I think, uh, how many, how many percentage there? I didn't see it. Okay, so that's what, that's what's happening with our lake. Let's, we're going to introduce this other portion in a later video, but let's go ahead and make a, a bridge. And we'll use that other bridge. I think that's the University of Sciences bridge or something. Simto. Hmm. Um. Actually, now that I'm looking at this. Want to make sure my, my bridge can connect. All right, where's that University of Sciences bridge? So I think these are gonna look nicely together. Uh, yep, that looks good. Yep, think it looks good. Yeah, this campus is really coming together. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, what kind of specializations do you have running in your cities? Uh, for me, the plan is to get this education uh, established and then uh, build up this beach line here. I really like these buildings. These are maxed out premium buildings, not the luxurious skyscrapers but they're at the same level they're just premium so to me uh, these look like those kind of like twin tower condos if you've ever been to a beach or something you'll see a lot of these types of uh, structures here and so I think it's really gonna look nice uh, facing the beach here I just want to make sure I get the orientations correctly because well, the buildings sit, they're, they're orientated differently. And a lot of times, to me at least, they look kind of tacky if, if you don't pay attention to the different orientations of, of the buildings. I don't know if this makes any sense to, to you, but it makes sense to me as I'm talking through it. All right, so that's that area. See what I mean here with the orientation? Like, why won't this building face the same way? as the other ones like why won't it face that way see which way is facing now that that that's what I want but then when I put it on this road here it turns itself why I mean I know why but so well uh, what can we do about that
Huh, nothing. Let's do nothing about it. Alright, um... If I move... At least it'll kind of balance it out. Um... You know, so you don't just have that odd one at the end that's, that's orientated differently. We put it at the... in the middle. So... Alright, so... Our college campus is established. For the most part, our beach is starting to look nice. Uh, I think that we're going to change some roads here. It looks like we could fit something else in. You know, I think I'll take one of these uh, one of these other luxurious um, buildings here. Out of these two, these look really nice. What do you think, guys? These are luxury. Uh, they're one level up than, than those ones over there to the left. This is the next level if you keep on uh, upgrading your buildings. I think we'll put that there. And so that kind of helps to balance out that one thing that was going on. Kind of adds like a little more of like a, you know, skyline that is established like that. And I like this building also. I think we'll put those two right across from each other. And, um, what else? We'll put, we could put that building right there. Uh, actually, might as well put it next to that one. Maybe we'll have you know, a little bit uh, taller buildings over on that side. Hmm. I do need to fill that space, don't I? I'll have to come up with something there. I don't know if I'm actually going to leave that residential building right there where it's sitting. Because uh, it kind of doesn't fit with the whole campus vibe. Uh, but uh, we'll come up with something else to put there, I think. Oh, well, what, what did we get accomplished? Let's go over to my mansion, which I have to find a place for my mansion. We collected three cash for having a smart city by uh, providing educational services to a certain number. I think it was 30 uh, residents. So we did that. Oh, uh, I just noticed here I can actually delete this road and then move these buildings closer over there and then that'll free up space for something else over there yep yep so now we have space all about optimizing your space so for now let's just put this building here uh, I don't know it makes the campus look look good uh, looks like it costs a lot of money to go to this campus what are we gonna call this College campus. Um, well, the name of my city is on a Tuesday, so I'm likely to name this Tuesday University. And it looks pretty good. Tuesday University. I think I'll go with that. Well, uh, I'm pretty happy. What about you guys? Comment below. Let me know what you think of my city, if there's anything I should add or suggestions or questions that you have. Uh, we're going to keep this up and uh, probably... Just, just keep dropping videos, as many videos as we can. City Bills. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, this has been another episode of Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith. I think we did a good job today at uh, turning this area that was nothing into something. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, send me a message.